Hello again, Minions. Wheezy here, and on the weekly wrap-up this week, we're going to go over what went on on the channel. We're also going to talk about uh, a little design work that I did this week in anticipation of the official restart of Wheezy's War College, and I'm going to need your feedback. So let's go talk about all of that. Okay, Minions, so you should know the drill by now. If not, first we're going to jump into what went up on the channel this week. And it has been a busy week. Um, I've, got, I've been capturing a lot of content, and I've got actually quite a bit in the queue still. It's been, uh, it's been kind of a good, good time, but uh, I'm also getting a little backlogged. So uh, the first thing that went up this week that we'll talk about is the Cold War Sniper League. Uh, new episode for that. I actually posted two new episodes this week. The first one uh, that I posted was uh, another good one. It was, I mean, I don't even necessarily want to give away what happens in these other than the clip that I'm going to show you. But let's just say that every time I go back and watch my Sniper League gameplays, it makes me want to go back and play more. Um, and uh, for those of you who aren't aware, Sniper League is me playing Call of Duty, Cold War, CDL playlists, uh, doing sniping only, trying to quick scope. But those of you who are connoisseurs of quick scoping will know that I often drag scope and hard scope because I'm awful. Um, so it's entertaining in its own way as well as sometimes entertaining because I hit some shots every now and then. So uh, here's a clip from the first episode of uh, Sniper League that went up this week. Come on. Ah, oh, me. another guy behind. I can't sprint, dude! Oh, fucking God, I can't fucking do it. Weezy, how's your triple negative going? It's going amazing because I'm so good. Yeah, it's I'm going amazing. One. Don't let him get time. Yeah, Come get right it. Yeah, look how good I am. I'm so good. We just run yep, the plane. Two on. Two, get on it. two on. Okay, get off. Yep. Oh. Next is all that matters. Dipping yeah. like fucking crazy. My frames are dropping through the roof. It only happens in league play. I don't know why. Because this game sucks. Because this game mode sucks. Boom! Fucking <laughs> well, So yeah, uh, that's that's good times. There's a there's a whole lot of, of fun to be had there, and uh, definitely <laughs> getting into some uh, positions where the teammates are also still not happy with me. I'm convinced at some point I'm gonna be so amazing at quick scoping, I'm gonna be nothing but an asset for my team. <laughs> um, so the next video I posted after that is I've been trying to space out the. Uh, Anything that I shoot that's kind of like a series, like Sniper League, or uh, if I do multiple videos for a single like capture session, I've been trying to kind of spread them out. You guys can leave your feedback on if you'd rather just have them consecutively, uh, or you like kind of having a variety of content scattered day to day. Um, but the next video that I posted was me playing Battlefield 3 again, but not on PC this time. This time it was the Xbox 360 version on my Series X. So. That was an interesting uh, experience, being able to just enjoy the fantastic backwards compatibility of the Xbox, but just load up, throw in my old Battlefield 3 disc, although it's also on EA Play, Battlefield 3 is, um, and just fire up my old, my old game, like right where everything left off, all my stats, all my kits, and uh, jump into a game of Metro. And instead of the PC Battlefield 3 that was running in 4K, this is, you know, like 720p upscaled on the Series X. But um, here is a clip from that video. Oh, I saw you. No grenades. You can go ahead and be dead. Stay dead, thank you. Be stay dead. Are you still, you still fucking around over here, bro? Thank you. I heard you. I heard you. You thought you were sneaky, Beaver, but you were not. I was. So that was a. Uh, some nostalgia for me and uh, definitely kind of continuing on the in the build up and anticipation of the new Battlefield game this year. So 
Uh, I'm going to keep that going as well. Uh, after that, another new episode of Sniper League. This one was, I think, only a single match just because I kind of end up playing like five matches. It depends in a session or something like that. And I'm trying to, because of how long the matches are, put about two matches into a video because that keeps them right around the 15, 20 minute time frame, um, which I think is digestible. You guys can leave feedback if you want longer or shorter videos. Uh, but yeah, so it was actually the first game of Control in this episode. And uh, here's a clip from that video. Hey. Oh dear. Defending Alpha. Shit, shit. Thank you. Thank you. Let's not stay here. Where are you at? Defending A. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh my. Oh hit marker. Oh hit marker. Come on. Come on, that was beautiful. How dare they? So yeah, every once in a while, I get on a little streak. <laughs> Some good things do happen. Um, teammates still hate me, but uh, so yeah, if you guys are enjoying the Sniper League series, let me know. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, focus on on kind of what what feels fun to me at the time and keep working with that. It seems to be it seems to be going pretty well. Uh, after that. <laughs> So it makes me giggle. Just I uh, I recorded a session of me playing some Battlefield One, and you know part of this series of me going Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four, Battlefield Five. Played some Battlefield One. Uh, I made two videos out of that. Uh, the first one that I posted, um, <laughs> I for some reason for Battlefield One, I don't know if it's the voiceover. I think it's mostly the voiceovers, like the. Uh, the voice that like announces when points are being captured and stuff like that are all in you know European accents, and so I'm just I can't help myself doing this horrible, quasi British sort of Australian almost maybe some New Zealand in there accent. It's it's terrible. It's awful. But I can't help myself. And also trying to shoot people. So it's <laughs> it's it, it was more entertaining than I expected, and it's uh. It's more fun to watch, I think, than it was to actually play Battlefield 1. So uh, here's a clip from the first video that I posted for Battlefield 1. <laughs> oh, that's not fair! Your gun is automatic and mine is fucking shit! <laughs> Alright, can I change my kit or something? Can I do... S can I do anything to make this game enjoyable? Oh, that's right, I have to press the button to be alive again! Let's see. Yep, that was pointless. Yes! <laughs> I've shot a man and he's died from it. This is incredible. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's a tank. Oh, it's a tank. Oh, it's a tank. Medical crate. Holy shite! Okay. Okay. Yes! Yes, he's got the rhythm. Feel the rhythm! Feel the rhyme! Come on, girls, it's bobsled time! Here, we've done it! We've done it good now! What am I- what is this accent? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Fucking fuck. So for more of my awful accent and bad shooting, uh, go and check that video out. Um, and there's another one we'll talk about in just a second. But after that video posted, uh, the new season two of Cold War dropped this week. And along with it came updates to Warzone, which I have not touched yet. Um, and uh, add updates to Zombies which I hadn't touched before this. I haven't played Zombies at all in Cold War until this week, and they pushed a major update and added the Outbreak event uh, with this Outbreak mode, which is essentially um, Zombies in the... Uh, it's not Plunder in Cold War, the whatever, the Dirty Bomb maps. Uh, and it is surprisingly fun. Uh, so I, I played a little bit of that, put a video together, and uh, here's a clip from that. Oh, God. That was spicy. Double points. That's gone well. It's gone well. 
Except for the part where it hasn't gone well. I'm glad you guys are a uniform height. Makes shooting in the head easier. Everyone's down! Oh my god, everyone's down. Good god. Alright. Come on. Get up! Get up, you son of a bitch! Good god. There's too many. Oh god, there's too many. Why have you done this? Have you guys never played zombies before? You can't do this! You can't do this! You cannot try and save each other and be killed by zombies at the same time. That is not teamwork. That is not teamwork. Oh god. You're dead. Can I get my teammates back? And I need ammo. I see ammo. Excuse please. So zombies is like a different kind of nostalgia because for those of you who've been around a while or maybe you weren't, back in the days of the original uh, Black Ops, we played quite a bit of zombies back when it was literally just kind of like small rooms that you were trying to defend desperately. Um, and those of you familiar with Cold War, there is still that mode. Uh, this outbreak mode is uh, a lot of fun, a lot more open, and it and it just feels it feels really good. So I'm enjoying it. I will. I have been playing more zombies, and I will almost certainly continue to be playing more zombies. Um, so those of you out there, just Cold War in general, but especially zombies, because I'm actually enjoying it versus Cold War multiplayer, which still kind of pisses me off most of the time. Uh, Check out the links below for like the Discord. Uh, that's an easy way to get a hold of me, or just you know let me know. We'll we'll team up. I have uh, also posted down below. Usually, uh, at least in my Cold War videos, if not in this one, my uh, Activision ID, so that you guys can add me, and we can play Modern Warfare, Cold War, Zombies, Warzone, whatever. So if you guys have been sticking around, you guys play some Call of Duty, add me, and let's you know always looking for people to play with. Although sometimes I play at weird times, so it would probably work out. If you're on the other side of the world, I might play during the day. If you're on in the US, my play in the evenings, we'll see. Uh, so the last thing that posted, actually literally as I'm recording this video, uh, which is Saturday, but I'm gonna turn around and post this one on Sunday. Um, like 30 minutes ago, my second Battlefield 1 video went live where I switched to a sniper rifle, a proper sniper rifle instead of just a semi-auto assault class rifle, uh, which was significantly more effective. My aim was still pretty garbage and I still couldn't get away from the awful accent, but it was, it was, putting it together was still a lot of fun. So here's a clip from that video. Let's push it up. I feel like my squads and teammates are not interested in helping. Let's take some internal cover. I had to shoot him through you, teammate. Through you, I had to do that. Oh yeah, run away. That was a bad, egregious miss. Another egregious miss. That one should have been a hit. Okay, I I suck at life. Ten shots left. That's a hit! I will take it. That's a hit! I will take it! Yes, sir. Die tired. Yup. Oh, you stepped in the way of your teammate's bullet of death. Good lord. I am a merchant of murder. A murder chant. So yeah, get, yeah, you know, everybody, I guess the sun shines on a dog's butt every once in a while. <laughs> Got a little hot streak at the end of that match. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's what went up to the channel this week. I did not have any new single player this week for story time. So uh, I, have, I have been away from Assassin's Creed Valhalla for several weeks now. And I haven't been hugely motivated to go back. Um, 
I will at some point, I'm sure, but nothing new for Wheezy's story time this week. Although still, if you want to see uh, any of the previous story time videos that I've done there, I like I said, I uploaded basically the entire library, uh, except for Alien Isolation so far, um, to Wheezy story time. It's a different channel, so you can keep your, your normal Wheezy goodness and your essentially kind of let's play Wheezy story time goodness separate. You guys can go sub to that channel if you want to, um, keeping those things isolated. So. The last thing I wanted to talk about, and I'll switch over real quick and show you, uh, is that, oh yeah, I redesigned this. And for those of you who've been around a while, you may recognize, matter of fact, can I pull up the old the old one? I think I, oh, I don't need another video, it's Thunder Home. My old Wheezy's War College. Oh, we don't need to, we don't need to do that. <laughs> Come on. So yeah, my old, uh, my old logo here that I built entirely in 3D, like I built this in a 3D modeler so that all of this lighting is done dynamically. I spent way too long overproducing these videos, 2011. Um, so I, in anticipation, I'm, I'm getting rolling on, you know, a reboot of Wheezy's War College. And so I redesigned the logo and I did this just in Inkscape and vector graphics. So. Um, yeah, that is imminent. <laughs> I, uh, I have some, I've talked about this before, I've got some outlines, so basically I've, you know, I've got videos captured. Part of me playing these old games, um, like Battlefield 3 and stuff like that, not just the Battlefield nostalgia, but it's also capturing clips so that when I reboot Weezy's War College and I'm putting in gameplay clips uh, for different things, uh, it's not all from like Call of Duty Cold War or Modern Warfare 2019. I want to have a variety of games, and and there's been a bit of a a bit of a lack of uh, the kinds of games that I really enjoy, the modern shooters, over the past couple of years. So pickings have been a little slim, but uh, and it I want it, Weezy's FPS War College to apply to all shooters, uh, well, all first-person shooters rather. Third person's a little different, but yeah, if you guys are interested, you guys can go back and check out. I think I posted three episodes of Wheezy's War College back in like 2011. Um, and there's good content in there. You know, my production quality is better now than it was 10 years ago. But uh, but yeah, still might be worth checking out. And there's gonna, the reboot is, I say reboot because it's essentially, the first things I'm gonna cover are the core that where I started Wheezy's War College, because I think those are the critical topics to cover, but updated, more streamlined, better production quality, um, but less production time. <laughs> I won't spend a week compositing a animated 3D intro over a Call of Duty Black Ops theater game. <laughs> I had a lot of fun learning how to do like 3D compositing and stuff like that, but it was just, it was too much overhead and, and for a 15 second intro. So, uh, so yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on anyone who's been around a while, what you thought of the original Wii Sports College and what you want from the new updated version. Is there something that uh, you guys are looking forward to um, is there something that you struggle with in first person shooters that you'd like me to address? Um, that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be coming up. So as that gets rolling, it's going to be exciting. I've got kind of bigger plans, you know, I've got kind of larger episodes that kind of cover core concepts. And then I want to branch out and do like individual lessons based on individual gameplay breakdowns and stuff like that. The how to and helpful stuff on this channel, like how to play or how to win free for all in cold war, uh, has been pretty popular. So, um, I want to, you know, provide you guys more of what helps. And, uh, and that's, that's why I started, you guys may have noticed on the channel page uh, a couple months ago now, I, I started working on a little bit of rebranding, re rebranding, uh, where I updated the tagline of the, uh, of the channel to have fun, play hard. Because um, that's what I want to focus on is enjoying games, but also being able to do well at them. So I wanna bring you entertaining gameplay, bring you stuff that makes you happy and smile and have fun, but also that helps you uh, learn uh, and get better at games so that you can also turn around and have more fun because everyone has more fun playing games when they don't suck. <laughs> Sometimes you have fun when you suck. Sniper League is proof of that. Sometimes you can suck and have a great time, uh, but I wanna provide value wherever I can. So feedback time. Uh, every week, I'd love to solicit feedback from you guys about anything. It doesn't have to be stuff addressed in this video. Just fucking tell me your thoughts. Uh, it doesn't even have to be about me or the channel. Just gaming in general, life in general. Just fucking put your thoughts down below. This is a good place for us to kind of do more community-focused stuff. 
uh, community going forward is going to be a huge part. This is what of the channel. This is a big part of what I always envisioned for Wheezy's Gaming. Part of when I redesigned the logo to my little W with the little radio waves coming off of it. The idea behind my overall design is this is about community, communication, helping bring gamers together. This is not the Wheezy show. This is not look at how great I am. This is uh, finding people who love to play games, want to have fun, maybe want to get a little bit better, and want to and want to hang out and have a good time. So participate, feedback, good, bad, tell me when I suck. I'm never going to get better if you guys don't tell me when I'm awful. Uh, and yeah, so I rambled a little bit more this week than usual, but uh, I think we're still, we're still doing pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and I will see you guys next time. Later, minions.